Hello there YouTube. In this video I'm going to be looking at the Lightacala HG2 cell. Sold through AliExpress on the Lightacala official site. The cell appears to be an LG cell, but looking close into its listing, you will see that Lightacala sells many 18650s that appear to be name brand cells, although their description lists the manufacturer as being Lytacala, so they are not specifying that they are the actual manufacturer cells. You can also see that their nominal capacity is huge between 2.6 and 3 amp hours. Their English tr translations are particularly bad, and they do not specify the resistance of the cell in this description. I purchased 10 of these cells at a pretty decent price of $2 per cell. Um, <clears throat> figuring that if they were not actual LG cells or if they were secondary quality LG cells that I was still getting a huge deal at $2 per cell when looking for Legitimate LG cells, you run into the price of five or more dollars per cell. The actual LG HG2 spec is a capacity of three amp hours and a resistance of 20 milliohms. This is measured via AC impedance, which I do not have any means of testing. My IMAX B6 will give good capacity, but as you'll see, the resistance is not comparable to the listed one from the manufacturer. The best cell I have to compare against as far as power cells goes is a Sony VTC5. These cells come in with 2600 milliamp hours and an AC impedance of 13 milliohms. The cells were purchased as slightly used, but from a legitimate seller and our legitimate Sony cells. An additional cell I have to compare against, I, I have sourced from Cobalt Power Tool uh, batteries. At the time, I purchased them at $10 per battery, giving me six cells. Six of the Samsung INR18650 15Ls. These have a 1.5 amp hour rating and a rated internal impedance of less than 30 milliohms. So, not standout power cells, but indeed particularly good ones. I also sourced some cheapy Chinese 2 amp hour cells with no listed specs. All my cells, I would charge up to comparable voltages using this inexpensive power bank, which will slowly charge all these cells up to roughly 4.155 volts. My goal with this was to get the voltage all within five hundredths of a volt, which you'll see coming up that most are fairly close within five hundredths of a volt. My group consists of nine of the, the light of color cells, three of the Sony's, three of the Samsung's, and three of the Golden Dragon cheap Chinese cells. <clears throat> My cell testing was done using a mini wood clamp with wire leads connected to it to give a solid connection and all the capacity tests were taken using my IMAX B6. Looking at the capacity tests, they all match literature fairly well. The Sony's come in around 2600 milliamp hours. Samsung's bested the 1.5 milliamp hour or amp hour rating coming in closer to 1.6. Lighter calls came in pretty consistent at 28, 2.8 amp hours, and the Golden Dragons beat the two amp hour rating, coming in closer to 2.1 
or 2.15. The resistance given by the IMAX B6, I didn't trust. It was much higher than the listed one. So I tried a secondary method, which used a resistor of a known value. This one here being a 5 watt resistor of 0.39 milliohms. What I basically do is I plug in the cell in my in my clamp, measure the open voltage, and then connect this resistor and take the immediate voltage under the resistor's load. You can see here, put the cell in, clamp it down, read your initial voltage, take the resistor and briefly connect it. The voltage will immediately drop and I will review the video and try to grab the most immediate voltage for use in the formula for calculating the cell resistance. I'm not going to go into extreme detail on how this equation is derived but it is available on Google and I, I've rewrote it to be one single formula where you can just punch in your two voltages along with your resistor's value and it'll spit out your cell resistance. And the basic formula here is the voltage at the start minus the voltage under load divided by voltage under load divided by your known resistor will give your cell resistance. You can see here the method of testing each cell is pretty straightforward. Resistances of each cell are pretty consistent, surprisingly, but still higher than literature. In particular, the Sony's and the Samsung cells are higher than their literature value, so we're still not equaling the AC impedance measures that are being taken by the manufacturer. Out of the group, the lattice are the highest resistance. If we average all of our cells and look at each group individually, Sony's come in at 28 milliohms, Samsung 35, lattice 45, and Golden Dragon 40. Now this is using that resistor test, which we're not saying is accurate to the AC impedance. Now if we normalize these values, to the 13 milliohm Sony AC impedance, and then look at those, what we see is obviously the Sony's are 13, the Samsung's are 16, and we see the lighter colors are over the LG spec of 20. So does this suggest that these are actual LG cells that have exceeded LG spec and have been sold to lighter color, or are they some other cell? You can be the judge, but I think these are still a decent value for $2 per cell. Whether or not they catch fire after heavy use under a power tool or someone's e-cig, that's your, that's your decision to make. We'll see you later.